But in one extraordinary case, cat hairs became the key evidence that would solve a murder and revolutionize forensic science forever. The story begins on Prince Edward Island, Canada's smallest province, a picturesque place better known for its red sand beaches and Anne of Green Gables than for violent crime. It was here, in 1994, that a woman named Shirley Duguay disappeared under deeply suspicious circumstances. The investigation intensified when Shirley's body was discovered in a shallow grave in the woods. The police quickly focused their attention on Douglas Beamish, but they needed evidence, solid, irrefutable evidence that would stand up in court. Buried alongside Shirley's body was a men's leather jacket, and clinging to that jacket were 27 white cat hairs. Beamish and Duguay shared their home with a white cat named Snowball. Could these hairs belong to their pet? And if so, could they prove that Beamish had been at the crime scene? This is where our story becomes truly groundbreaking. You see, in the mid-1990s, DNA analysis was still a relatively new tool in criminal investigations. It had been used successfully to identify human suspects, but using it to identify an individual animal? The police found themselves in possession of potentially crucial evidence, but no way to analyze it. But cats, that was different territory entirely. The police began the frustrating process of contacting laboratories across North America, asking if anyone could compare the cat hairs from the jacket to a sample from Snowball. Laboratory after laboratory turned them down. The technology simply hadn't been developed for feline DNA analysis. The case seemed to be at a dead end. Then came a breakthrough. The investigators finally managed to obtain the assistance of the Laboratory of Genetic Diversity, part of the National Cancer Institute in Maryland. They were working on mapping the domestic cat's genetic blueprint known as a genome. The timing couldn't have been more fortuitous. The researchers at the Maryland Laboratory were among the very few people in the world with the knowledge and tools to attempt what the police were asking. They agreed to help, but everyone involved knew they were venturing into completely uncharted territory. No court case had ever relied on animal DNA evidence before. If they made any mistakes, a killer might go free. The statistical analysis showed that the probability of the hairs coming from a cat other than Snowball was approximately 1 in 70 million. After months of analysis, the results came back. The DNA from the cat hairs on the jacket was a perfect match to Snowball. More than that, the genetic profile was unique enough that the researchers could state with scientific certainty that these hairs came from Snowball and no other cat. 